Good morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Happy Wednesday. I'm feeling almost 100%. I've still got all the schmageggy in my sinuses, but, you know, I'm, I'm on the other side of this thing, and I had to put this little light on today because it is getting gloomy. So maybe we'll get some rain today. There is a cool breeze in the air, you know, slightly cool, not cold by any stretch, but enough to give me, you know, some excitement about maybe some cooling off today. I think yesterday we hit 97, which is like outrageous. Waiting on Allie, got to get her up to school and then work. And I left a lot behind, so I'm not even going to pretend today is going to be anything other than what it's going to be. <laughs> and poor Glenn, guys, can you pray for him? I mean, remember he threw his back out not too long ago, and then he came home yesterday and his knee, it's like double the size it's swollen it's given him so much pain but he muscled through he went to work today despite you know me saying maybe you should see a doctor but you know men very stubborn um so just pray for him you know that the knee will you know heal up and it's just maybe a sprain or maybe some inflammation but i've also been praying that if it is something that needs to be seen that it hurts him enough where he goes so there you go <laughs> All right, guys. Well, no sense delaying the inevitable. Might as well get this day started. Remember that I love you, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. It's tuna melt time, guys, again. It's been nuts at work, and I just looked up because my stomach was growling so bad, and I said, oh my gosh, it's almost noon. <laughs> so toasted up some bread, threw a piece of American cheese on it, nuked it for a moment just to melt it, and now I'm just doing this ready-made tuna, which has been such a saving grace lately. Oh, and these people with the trying to sell stuff, you know, it's like... What's wrong with it? What's this? What's that? And I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm selling it for so cheap. I'm putting pictures, multiple pictures of any imperfections on it so that I'm avoiding trying to avoid all these questions. And then they're always like, well, I'll give you this much and I, can, I can't be here and, you know, can't, can't come look at it until the weekend. I'm like, well, it's first come, first serve, buddy. I'm not going to sit here and wait all week hoping you'll show up only to either no show on me or, you know, come look at it and say you don't want it. Ugh, so frustrated. Anyway, tuna melt and cheddar and sour cream potato chips. I love these things. Don't judge me, people. All right, got to get back to it. Before you know it, it'll be time to pick up Allie and whew. I don't know how much I can get done before then. I went ahead and pulled the artwork down off the walls and it didn't tear off the paint in this room. So I don't know whether it's the command strip issue or whether since he only put one coat in that room and in this room we put two coats of paint. Maybe that's what did it. It's a mystery. So they're down here. We're going to put them up with nails. But we got to put the hangers back on them. Because to use command strips you got to remove the hangers. And here's my little stick vac I got yesterday. Took it for a little test run last night. Works great. But believe it or not this area rug that I bought at Ashley Furniture is too plush. It's really hard to push this stick vac on it. So... I may have to use the vacuum cleaner to give this a good vacuuming, but I can use the stick vac just to pick up, you know, the random crumb here and there, which is basically what it's designed for. But just a quick check-in, wrapping things up here at work because I got to head out to pick up Allie shortly.
<laughs> your girl, your girl jamming out to country music the whole way up here, up to Allie's school. I haven't listened to any country music at all since we went to Miami because, you know, that's great traveling music and I love country music. I love all music except for rap. I just, I can't understand rap. My kids love it. I, I don't understand it. I'm like, it just takes good music and then ruins it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to grab Allie, get back to the house. I think it's going to be saucy chicken tonight because I need a no brainer kind of meal. And uh, I have no brain left, <laughs> so it's apropos. Um, Rebecca's gonna go hang out with some friends. She actually has a friend of hers that she went to school with um, who she is a photographer and she's trying to build her portfolio. So she called Rebecca up and said, hey, you know, you wanna take some spooky kind of Halloween-y type photos and Rebecca loves to take pictures. So I'm sure she'll be right in her element and it'll probably just turn into hanging out with friends. I think there's a few people going. So I don't even know if she'll be home for dinner. It's not worth, you know, doing anything elaborate. Anyway, my boss also gave me a reprieve today. So thank you, Lord, that you put that in my boss's heart to give me two hours to do catch up. And I was able to catch up. So now I'm ready for the next onslaught of new stuff, which is fine. And uh, I'm feeling much better, as you can tell. My energy's back. I still have just a tad of this little bit of congestion, but... Just keeping with the medication until my body can finally kick it for good. And that's going to be it. So I've rattled on and rattled on as I always do. I will check in with you guys in just a little while. Probably right when I get started cooking. Remember I love you. I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday. We're almost there. <laughs> Talk to you in a bit. Alright guys. I'm almost caught up at work. But I need to go ahead and get dinner started because this takes about 40-45 minutes in the pressure cooker and I'll just make the rice once it's done since it has to release pressure anyway so typical saucy chicken I've got some boneless skinless chicken thighs here it's really the best with thighs but you could use it with any kind of chicken you like and you could do it with bone in if you like um, we've got the cooking wine we've got some olive oil and tomato sauce garlic salt onion powder some cumin bay leaves, some olives, a little envelope of sasson goya, and another of chicken bouillon. Usually add a little bit of water too if, you know, I see it looks like it needs some, but typically the cooking wine fills that need, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Well, the kitchen is cleaned, cafe is already made and washed and put away, and now I'm going to treat myself to a little root beer float. <laughs> Just because I managed to get everything done a lot earlier than normal. Whoops. So, of course, that's cause for celebration. <laughs> All right, guys, going to wrap up the vlog here. It's been a long day and I'm ready to go and relax. I'll see you guys in the morning. Remember I love you. <laughs> Good night.